Hi, welcome to another edition of Urban Treasure Hunter. I am TJ and we are back for season two. Follow TJ as he investigates and locates artifacts in a city that has a history dating back to the early 1800s. A city that has seen fierce battles, rich oil tycoons, and the birth of our nation's space program. With a metropolitan population of over 6 million people, there is only one urban treasure hunter. So the last couple of months have been at 105 degrees, sometimes more, and for safety's sake, we decided to pull the plug on season one and take two months, three months off, I guess it was two months off, and we decided to shoot season two whenever it got much cooler. And so now it's September, and it's a lot cooler. It's only 90 degrees. Only 90 degrees, it's not 105. <laughs> Benwood Park in West Houston was a farm back in the 1940s. In the 1950s it became a park and still stands today. There are three main points of interest as far as metal detecting goes. The old road that is now a modern concrete road, the areas around the field, and a large tree that still stands today. If we compare the old map with the latest map taken by Google Earth, it's very easy to pinpoint all the locations that we want to hit. Due to a shortage of time today, we will only hit two main areas. The path along the tree line that parallels the road, and the tree that most likely was the resting place of the farmer. This is about the halfway point where, where, the, um, where the, the actual field ended. And the field goes back that way. And the thing is, is this road, why don't you hit this road, camera girl, this road over here is the original road that the farmer used to drive his tractors and trucks. And over the years, they graveled it, they paved it and everything, and then they built a neighborhood around it and turned it into a park. So this is Benwood Park, but uh, this road is the original road that uh, they use. So this is the original side of the road and if they ever did a tear route here with the sidewalk or the road you would you could bet your bottom dollar that I would be here checking it out with my detective. Because no telling what this farmer lost. There were no trees throughout here. It was just a big field but there was a, a tree, a nice sizable shade tree right next to the field that we're going to hit after a while. What I'm going to do is start along the road here. I'm going to go along this tree line and I'm going to see what we can find. And as I find things, we'll let you know. Everyone's driving by looking at you. Yep. Everybody wants to see the urban treasure, huh? <laughs> Everybody wants to see camera girl. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Everybody does want to see Cameron Girl. This is a memorial penny. So. Okay, well, at least you found it. See, one piece of advice I have to give for you is that if you are a male metal detectorist, which a lot of a lot of people are, you need to get a female detector because. Like my detector, she loves me. And when she finds something good, she really lets me know. Mm. She tries to get my attention. Oh, brother. There we go. This, no doubtedly, comes from the old farm. An old, rusty piece of metal. Looks like an old nail. My detect my uh, pinpoint is going neurotic here. That makes it a male. Uh, <laughs> no, camera girl, I think <laughs> it's a female. <laughs> oh, 
I found it. Look at that, it's one of those old pool tabs. Interesting. Too bad you can't get money for those. But I could auction it on eBay. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, before I go any further, I want to say that yes, I am using the GTI 2500 and it does have a big coil. And usually when you work parks, you don't use a big coil. I know it. I'm going to get a million comments about that. But what I'm looking for today is farm equipment, stuff like that. So I'm not discriminating, discriminating out trash. If I was discriminating out trash, I would use a small coil. The smaller the better. But today I'm digging everything up. And now I have a bag full of trash and some coins. And we're just going to keep, uh, keep hitting this area a little longer and then we'll go down to the trees. But I got a hit right here. We're just going to see what it is. No clue. Oh wait, look at that. Right at the, right at the first dig. And there it is. What is it? It's another pull tab. One of the old kind. Sure is. Alright, I just got a hit and it's uh, some kind of piece of metal. It looks like copper. Just a, a piece of copper. When I tapped it with my thing to knock the dirt off, I can see a redness and it looks like uh, like it's just an old piece of copper. Can you hold it up flat like the other way flat? You know what it reminds me of? Not flat the other way. What, a candy bar? It looks like a really big Fig Newton. <laughs> Well, if you take a bite out of this, you will lose some teeth. There is no doubt. Okay. But this is uh, copper, and I'm going to throw it in my copper collection. And it's pretty heavy, too. It's gonna be That's nice. awesome. Very awesome. So when we sell our copper, we're going to get some good money for this. All right. Good deal. Okay, I think we found it. It's uh, part of a stable or a barn latch. Oh, very cool. Wow, that's old. That is old. Very nice. I'm going to go wash my hands. After scanning much of the tree line near the road, we decided to grab some lunch. With my freshly washed hands, it was time to order my sub and chow down. Alright, one of the best parts of treasure hunting is going to lunch. And today we're doing Subway. Cheers. With our bellies full, we headed back to Benwood Park to the location of the old tree from Google Earth's 1943 map. This tree could be the tree that sat against the pasture. And if it was a case, then the man, we're gonna reenact this as good as possible, but it's hot, you're sweaty, you're plowing the field, and you're in the sun, there's no shade except for this tree. And you're gonna come, and you're gonna sit under this tree, just like this, and you're gonna drink your water. And your pockets are just going to pour out coins. And the funny thing is, in 1943, they came out with a, a new penny, and it was a special deal. It was going to be steel. They were trying to save copper for the war, and so they switched to steel pennies. But the problem is that they accidentally left some sheets of, of copper in the die system, and whenever they died, punched the, uh, the new pennies out, they accidentally punched some copper 1943 pennies. And when they did that, they created pennies that are worth over a million dollars. So I'm thinking if this guy had any new pennies in his pocket, it's quite possible that we could find a 1943 copper penny here. And if we did, then we'd have a lot of new equipment. There's no doubt. <laughs> and yes, camera girl, I'd get you a new camera. Awesome, a couple of them. <laughs> and I would get that new mine lab that has the GPS on it, wireless. Five grand, I believe it is. Uh, you know what? 
my friends at metaldetectingstuffgut.com would probably give me a good price on that. They always do. Target right here. Probably the size of a coin. That would be awesome. Alright, there were broken pieces of bottle here, so I'm not expecting anything great. And sure enough, it's a pull tab. I see that. We have a uh, we have yard men who decided to weed eat and cut their grass right over there. Our producers are going there now to ask them to turn off the equipment so that we can continue our video. Okay, you should check out Chef 4K's video on how to vote in 2012. I'll put the link at the bottom in the description so that you can go to it easily and check it out. I found the uh, tip of a pull tab. Lots of pull tabs out here. You just have to dig through them and keep scanning the same area. Usually your trash is on top, your coins are below that, and your gold is below that. So we're just going to rescan the areas that we dig trash up. Alright, we've got another hit right in here. And there she is. Another pull tab. So you're going to pull up pull tabs, you're going to pull up trash, all kinds of stuff before you get to the good stuff. We keep finding coins under all this stuff, so keep looking. Alright. So these are my finds of the day. Um, we spent about an hour out here and, you know, to tell you the truth, I threw a lot of junk out just because it was taking up too much space in my bag. But I kept some of it, some of the junk and uh, coins. We have several pennies. Do we have a 1943 copper penny? I don't know, we'll have to clean it up. If I do, I probably won't let you know, but you'll probably see uh, some uh, our videos in 3D or something, and me with a uh, brand new detector. So if you get a chance, come out to Benwood Park and check it out, but they're very detector friendly. Just always be polite, and of course, make sure you cover your holes. Pick up trash if you see it while you're walking, that kind of thing, and they'll keep being metal detector friendly. So this is TJ saying, we'll see you next time on Urban Treasure Hunter. What a cute dog. This is hi Barney. there. Barney, hi Barney. Barney's seven years old. He loves his park. Aww. Uh,